Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay to talk here, and we're taking a look at the Editor's Key's dedicated keyboard for Mac. The specific model I have here is for Final Cut Pro 10, but it also comes in different versions for other programs such as Adobe Premiere Pro, Photoshop, and Pro Tools. Being a dedicated keyboard simply means that the shortcuts are printed over the keys of an actual Apple wired keyboard with the numeric keypad. With that being said, the ergonomics of the keyboard will match your whole Apple desktop, keeping an aluminium and genie body look with your iMac and Apple devices with an anodized finish. It looks extremely sleek on your desk with the low profile keys and you get two USB 2.0 ports on either side for you to plug in any hard drives or accessories. You also get rubber feet at the bottom just to stop it from sliding around your desk and of course the Apple logo. At first, these shortcut keyboards were extremely confusing to use because of the color groupings and just the extended layout I had to switch to from an Apple wireless keyboard. I found it hard to type up essays at first because uh, of the colors just mesmerizing in my eyes uh, and I kept pressing the wrong buttons when trying to switch spaces or use the control key. Luckily, it didn't take me long to get used to the keyboard and editing in Final Cut was a breeze. I learned about many shortcuts I never knew about before and minimized my time spent looking through menu bars and navigation columns. The Editor's Keys shortcut keyboards definitely changes your workstation into a professional looking studio while improving the overall editing experience. However, it does come in at quite a high price. A standard wide keyboard you get from Apple costs $49, but this will run you at $129.99, uh, just almost triple the price of the Apple keyboard. You can find this and many more editing equipment over at editorskeys.com. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.